it's uh, David McPhail here, uh, the author of Velda the Awesomest Viking and Thorfinn the Nicest Viking uh, book series. I'm going to show you guys how to draw a Viking longship. It's very easy. All you need to do is get your paper uh, on the landscape like this, just like it is here. And I'll just show you what to do first. First of all, you start off with a little spiral in one corner. You start off drawing it here. So I'll show you what the spiral looks like. Like that, just leave the end hanging off. And then take a line from the outside of the spiral and bring it down in a kind of S shape, like that. Okay? And then take it along, like this. And then bring it up in another S shape, like that. And then have it coming off like this. Make it a little vase and you need a couple of little curvy lines like this and a jaggedy line like that. Oh my goodness, that looks like a Venus flytrap. That's rubbish, isn't it? Right, I'm going to fix that. I'm going to put some eyes in. And here's some ears. So that's a dragon. The Vikings used to call them dragon ships. Um, and the people used to call them dragon ships. If you saw a dragon ship coming towards you, you would be very scared. You would probably run off for the shelter of the nearest castle, okay? So take a line coming from the neck of the dragon, bringing it down, and a line from the inside of the spiral, bring that down. These two lines are going to meet in the middle, but first of all, you're going to need some shields along the middle, like this. Shields. And uh, Vikings like to put shields along the side of their ships. Um, they made, it meant they were ready for action any time. So you can decorate these how you want. You could put a little boss in them, a shield boss. That was a metallic bit. It held the shields together. Um, so that was quite a useful thing. Um, and also they could use them in battle. You could quarter it like this or quarter it like that. Also, the Vikings like to put little symbols on their shields. So you could put a wolf or a dragon or a man playing keepy uppy with his, his enemy's heads or something like that. You put a lightning flash. That's a lightning flash for Thor, the Viking god. You need a little line behind here to join. Uh, the, that's the side of the ship there. That's most of your ship. You also need a sail. So a sail, just a diagonal line sloping down the way like that. And then a line coming from the inside of the sail, bring it down like this. And then a line from the inside and the other side, going down like this. And then you need a line to join it together up here, so that's the sail. A little uh, line down here, that's the bottom of the mast. The mast holds everything together, it's a very important part of the ship. A little T at the top there. And then maybe some wires or some rope, rather, to hold it all together and keep it tight. You can also put a design in the sail, like that. You could maybe put, a, again, you could put a dragon or a wolf or a weird kind of serpent or an octopus or a kraken or something. I'm just going to put some stripes on here for now. It's just to give you an idea uh, of uh, Viking ships and what they look like. Okay, so a few stripes. You'll need some oars, simply some straight lines with a little spoon thing at the end. That's your oars. And then some lines just to give it depth. These were these ships were beautiful. They were all clinker built, which means they were made of these strong overlapping wooden planks. Made it very flexible, the long ship. So that's a Viking long ship. That's what it looks like. The last thing you need before you go is a name for your long ship. You'll find a name here in uh, Velda the Osmus Viking in the Voyage of Deadly Doom. There's a name generator at the back that will tell you what the name of your long ship is. Right at the back here, see a long ship name generator. So uh, you can also get this online, by the way, for free. Uh, the Viking, Velda the Osmus Viking long ship name generator. Just type that in. Anyway, so I gave myself a really cool one, the Krusty Marauder. The Krusty Marauder. That's my my really cool, it's not actually very cool, is it? It's not really fierce. But you might get a fierce one if you check the long ship name generator in Velda the Awesomest Viking. Okay, thanks very much for tuning in, guys. And that's you. You, know, you now know how to draw your own Viking dragon ship. Really tough. The last thing I want to do is to introduce you to my camera lady. Uh, and that's that's my beautiful daughter Ayla. 
What do you say, Isla? Um, please subscribe and like and buy the newest Belden merch. Thank you. Bye, guys.